Hi, my name is Lara Jirin. I was a 90s model. That's the subject they were talking about here because our fashion show from Flying Soul had all that vibe from that past. So I think, especially in the case of this uh, last show, we did a back in the 90s kind of look. And the girls are like so young, so they don't even probably know. In the beginning it was hard because I would see all, and I was also doing shows with a lot of top models at the time and then you would have that feeling of like oh you're nothing you know so that didn't help I did walk with most of the the 90s uh, Linda, uh, Emma, Naomi, uh, Chrissy Turlington, uh, Elena Christensen all of those because I was at the, in Paris at the same time I was just starting there but I was getting at the same the same shows because it was a new but I was a new I, w I was a new model so I was like nobody there in the middle of, of everybody my best tip is like look at yourself in a mirror and walk to so you can see how you do and observe all other people that you admire. We used to watch a lot of our favorite models, for example, Linda Evangelista, Christy Tarleton, Emma. The, the, at that time, like Naomi, a group of models, we were imitate their walk and then uh, make our own walk, you know. Moment is, of course, when you fall. <laughs> Because there's some shoes that they are like, like that, and you really uh, cannot walk, especially platforms. And there's something that happens like when you walk, when you put one front feet in front of the other, that your feet bounce and twist, and then you you're on the floor. Especially those big, those big ones, you know. I remember I had to walk with the eight dogs, and the dogs didn't want to go anywhere, and then I had like to kind of drag them and then be. Beautiful. Once I remember, I had to walk. Um, was this crazy designer, and I had to walk with the ball in my head for George. George. Hey, George. So. <laughs> Right. Like Issey Miyake show, you always have like to dance, you know, because you have the, the day they will choreograph as a dancing uh, show. We used to do a lot of crazy shows in Brazil that we had to like crawl on the floor, you know, or, or kiss another girl in, the, in front of the, the, the photographers. It was like super free and kind of freaky at the same time. I think the pressure of being thin and not eat, which I think is completely wrong. I remember um, eat just a, a little lettuce, a little tomato, and a little piece of bread. That's it, like for lunch, the whole day, you know, and coffee, coffee. So it was not healthy. Once I had a blue I think they were doing a show, they were, they were coming to Brazil to do a big show, but then uh, they did my measurement, so I was one centimeter bigger than, than the necessary. So they told me that I had to do a treatment with enzymes and injections to lose that, otherwise I wouldn't get it. I spent a lot of money doing it and it didn't make a difference because all that, you know, when they come, they like me, so they wanted me in the show, so they fit the clothes in me, whatever, you know. But it was funny to watch because at the time we didn't have that much structure of like makeup artists and stuff. They would do your skin, but all the rest, everybody was doing their self. So I had to observe them doing because I had to do my own makeup, you know. It was completely different, completely different. So you have to build up your kit. So I had to look at everything and then oh, they had all the Chanel's and all the Christian Dior, all like the best. And I was like, Fuck, I cannot afford this. You're beginning, you don't have money cannot build a kit or something that's extraordinary if you don't have it. So you just do the best with what you have. Don't panic. <laughs> and big shows that I would have to like to open my buttons without using both hands and then take the graciously the code without doing this, you know. So you have to let it slide, but then sometimes something happened. If something happened, you have to re be really gracious. And it was a complete, as I said, it was completely different than today. Today you can just like, whatever, you know. I mean, I see the, the runaways and I'm like, oh wow, that's a big change. Yeah, for the Flying Solo show, we had Farron, which was our creative director. He was really going for it and having the attitude and that he was showing the girls and gladly we choose uh, models that they actually did good. Being what they are and then being what Farron want them to be. Mm -hmm. 
to have this vibe, you know, and to actually show something, you know, not just just walk. Because he's young too. I mean, he's much younger, so he didn't he didn't live there th that. But at the same time, he knows what he wants and he knows. Uh, but he could have actually shown something because at that time it was so different that they would not. Uh, it's not just about the walk. It was just uh, it's it's about the attitude as well, as I said in the beginning. Everybody wants to be a model and I don't exactly tell them, oh yeah, go be a model because uh, some people don't have it. So to be a model is it's a crazy thing, I think. I mean, it, especially because it takes time. Giselle took at least two to three years for her to actually become uh, known outside of the country and then just all of a sudden, boom, you know, you have to be at the right time, at the right place, with the right people. In the beginning, remember that I told you it's about the attitude of what you are and what you feel. The whole game is to be there to be the best. Because I remember I was not like a beautiful model, but all my attitude will make people see me differently. Also, like not get nervous because uh, it's a freak show, so be part of it. <laughs> and uh, stick with our channel because it's super fun and you're gonna learn a lot of stuff. 